Nice to have your company on this edition of Racing to Win. We're looking at race three now at Sha Tin on Sunday afternoon. It's the Mers Bay Handicap. Uh, up into class three, over a mile. Hang's decision has a five pound claim for Jack Wong. Blinker's first time Unicron Jewelry. We move down to Positively High, who ran quite a reasonable race at his second start. And then Smiling Charm, of course, up in grade from a last start victory. And Victor Wong will take the £10 claim as well. Not the easiest race to map this. There aren't a huge amount of natural front runners in it. Unicron Jewelry has been prominent sometimes in his races. And Joe Moreira might decide the seize initiative on him with the old blinkers first time. Smiling Charm has been prominent too. And he's got a very, very light racing weight with Victor Wong taking off those £10. So I'd expect him to be not too far away. We've got it down as slow though. Now, Fiamma's one that gets back. He wouldn't mind a little bit of pace on, but with a smaller field, it would probably suit him. Uh, he's caught the eye on all three starts this horse. Very unlucky at his last start, in fact. And uh, he's come out of the race with no problems, and he's working very well. So it's him. Um, smiling Charm, he's the one closest to us. Victor Wong just getting a good feel for the horse here, just working with his partner horse there. But all Victor, I think, was doing this morning was just getting to know the horse a bit. He wasn't really pushing him out at all. But he's a horse in good form at the moment. And they're super lucky, Matthew Poon, another one that's going to come in with uh, quite a light weight here, get his five pounds off as well. Close to a rating dropping, it'll be interested if he does go down into class four, but he's working OK at the moment, so worth showing. All right, we'll start with Smiling Charm, who is a last start uh, winner. However, if you look at his overall record in the class, never a winner from 13 tries. And he's had seven runs over the mile and never been able to win either. But he's a winner last start and has been consistent all season. And has been running well for some uh, pretty awful draws as well. The two starts prior to this, and they managed to get his head in front uh, back on only the 2nd of April. So they're backing him up pretty quickly. He's going to be carrying £112 as mm. opposed to £133 here. If he's ever going to win at this level, it's going to be here under these circumstances. I tend to agree, John. I mentioned Victor Wong last week that I'll be throwing him into the tips. Now that he's ridden a winner, got some confidence, I'll be sticking with that theory. Yeah, I've got him in the numbers as well. I thought he went, really ran uh, quite well, actually, on that occasion. And he, mm. I wouldn't be surprised if he led the race as well. Yeah. Radiant Bunny uh, was able to hop into third, <laughs> pardon the pun, at his last start. There was some monetary support for him as well. He was backed in from double figures to start $5.50. He's in reasonable form at the moment now after that third. As you can see, uh, Victor Wong was on always win here and he had that light weight and went on and mm. won the race. But uh, Radiant Bunny, I thought, still ran on nicely enough. Uh, and, uh, look, I'll give him a chance. I've got him in the numbers as well. This was his third up run for the season. He was three wide. Again, he'd been three wide the time prior to that. He's not necessarily going to get a great run here from Gate 8, but a slightly smaller field. I think he'll position up better, and, yeah, he's a numbers chance. All right, let's move on to Fiyama now, who has caught the eye in all three runs here in Hong Kong. Interesting, Michael Friedman went for the cheek pieces last start. And now he's going to add the tongue tie as well. So I wonder whether there's been a little bit of a breathing issue because he's sort of been running on suggesting he's not far away. Held up for momentum there, went back <laughs> to the inside, uh, had to balance back up to Joe Marrero on this occasion. Once the horse got balanced, the best part of his run is this last 100 metres. You can see he goes past all his horses mm. and finishes a, a close up uh, fifth or sixth. So I thought it was a really good run from him. And, if any ounce of luck, I think he can win. Yeah. yeah, the only slight caveat for me is if they go Sorry. a crawl again. Yeah, that's not necessarily going to help him because he's been stuck in two crawls in his races prior to that and he hasn't been able to uh, to make up the ground. But he's of all these horses, he's by far the most promising and progressive. Yep, I tend to agree. Let's move on now to Unicron Jury and McQueen. McQueen hasn't found his form this season so far from five outings. Unicron Jury's had the seven outings. He's won two of them. Um, last effort as 3.2 favourite I thought was probably the worst of his runs recently. John Sizes has called upon the blinkers to create some more focus. But he has generally had a pretty good season, Unicron Jewelry, so I think uh, he's worth siding with again. McQueen's interesting. I remember him winning a couple of years ago under Kei Chong when basically just went to the front. They might decide to do something similar here as well. Obviously, uh, there's no uh, claiming rider this time. And also, if it rains at Sha Tin tomorrow afternoon, which we've yeah. heard that it might... Well, I'll definitely help him. I was just about to get in Paul's ear about that because Paul's been a McQueen fan for a while and there is potentially some showers about tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, I haven't gone with the numbers, but if he rained, I'd be a lot more interested in him because yeah. that's, that's, he did bring that wet track form from All right, so McQueen on the bench. Who are the four that go in? <laughs> I'm going to go with Fiamma. I think this can be Fiamma's uh, race to beat Unicron Jewelry, uh, who can be on the pace. He won't be too far away. Smiling Charm with a big claim and Radiant Bunny. So three, two, eight, nine. I do like the two and three Quinella, though. 
Same numbers for me, slightly different order. I'm going to go with uh, Smiling Charm to uh, back up. Obviously, he's up in grade, but he's got this very light racing weight, and I think he's in the form of his life at the moment. And if he's near the front, he might just get... Well, he will get first run on Fiamma, and that might be enough in a tactical race to just see him right. Fiamma's been monstrously unlucky so far in his Hong Kong campaign. I think he's better than this lot, but again, things might not necessarily go his way. Unicron Jury in for third, and Radiant Bunny in for fourth, 8-3, 2-9.